On a night quite unenchanting, when the rain was downward slanting, I awakened to the ranting of the man I touch mice for. Tipsy and a bit unshaven, in a tone I found quite craven, Poe was talking to a raven perched above the chamber door. <laughs> Raven's very tasty, thought I, as I tiptoed o'er the floor. <laughs> there is nothing I like more. Soft upon the rug I treaded, calm and careful, as I headed toward his roots to top that dreaded bust of talent I deplore. <laughs> While the bard and birdie chattered, I made sure that nothing flattered, creaked or snapped or fell or shattered as I crossed the corridor. For Poe's house is crammed with trinkets, curios and weird decor, bric a brac and junk galore. <laughs> fluttered, standing soft still as he uttered in a voice that shrieked and sputtered <coughs> his two cents worth. Never no. no. <laughs> <laughs> While this dirge the bird brain kept up, oh so silently I crept up. Then I crouched and quickly leapt up, pouncing on the feathered boar. <laughs> Soon he was a heap of plumage and a little blood and gore. <laughs> Only this and not much more. <laughs> My pickled poet cried out, Pussy cat, it's time I dried out. Never sat I in my hideout talking to a bird before. <laughs> now I swallowed in self pity while my gallant, valiant kitty put an end to that darned ditty. Then I heard him start to snore. <laughs> Back atop the door I clambered, eyed that statue I abhor. <laughs> and smashed it to the floor. <laughs>